Alright lads, y'all remember when Robeats partnered with Super League Arcade? You know, the collab where you would play Robeats songs to turn your high scores into sweet rewards? The collab that is pretty much almost lost media except for one video of the event and a video by Super League themselves? I sure as hell didn't remember until today, where I decided to look into this event again. So basically during the 6th anniversary of Robeats that released the Finn MK mashup, the full version of Calamity Fortune, and the song that I have definitely not milked to death on this channel, I swear to god, I milked that shit harder than Chrisu and Signitial milked Dark Sheep. Robeats also partnered with an underground game called Super League Arcade. I literally remember nothing about this integration, but the premise of the event was that you would turn Robeat's high scores on any difficulty of Insight or Monday Night Monsters into sweet rewards. After watching the Super League Arcade sales video, I'm going to assume the quote, sweet rewards, would have been different gaming desk skins in the arcade. Actually, let's let the Super League Arcade trailer video describe the rewards. How exciting. I'm going to assume anybody who participated in this event won absolutely nothing, but if anybody actually won anything, this entire concept would have been flawed from the beginning because the weekly leaderboards in Robeats are already shit. And I don't need no receipts to prove it's shit, alright? People will complain about people boosting to get the champion title, and auto-playing was an issue as well. Teams are also shit, and the competitive side of the community sucks. In fact, I still have have this list of champions in Robeats and I guarantee you half the people on there have bloody cheated. It's not even fucking funny. Okay, now imagine all of that was carried over to Super League Arcade. At that point, the integration with Super League Arcade would have acted as another weekly leaderboard. But I forgot if the songs changed weekly at all, so they probably didn't. What I'm saying is, Competing in Robeats to win rewards in a random ass game would have been no different to the weekly leaderboards already in Robeats. Oh, and gear abusing would be another issue. Considering Super League Arcade partnered with other big games like Tower of Hell, Race Clicker, Super Striker League, and apparently Super Golf as well according to their video, Let's hypothetically say Super League Arcade actually took off and became popular on Roblox. With those other games except Race Clicker, I don't imagine it would have mattered if you had progress already because I'd like to imagine people are on a somewhat even playing field in the sense that you don't need to grind for items for months to have a competitive advantage over other players. A new account can have similar progress to a veteran if they put in the time and have the skill. This would certainly not be the case with Robeats, purely because gear exists. So if you have a hella busted vibe or flow set, getting high scores for Super League Arcade is GG's for you, and other players would never be able to even get close to your score. Oh, and Super League Arcade does have a Discord server, but it only has 34 members at the time of recording this video, and it is pretty much inactive as fuck. I think I have said enough for this video. It really was the most random event ever. Bye.